Welcome friends, I'm Chris. I'm from Transformation Nation Yoga and Wellness. And today I wanna to bring you a piriformis stretch that I think of as a nice preventative from the symptoms of sciatica pain. So I'll talk a little bit more about that once I get you set up into this pose. But um, this is a pose that you could do as a standalone part of a home practice. You could do this just as a therapeutic movement. It would take two or three minutes of your day per day. Um, you could also include it in a much longer sequence. I teach this in vinyasa sequences. I also teach this in, in yin sequences um, from time to time. Um, in yin, all the shapes have these cute nature names. So um, I sequestered this movement from physical therapy, uh, but I gave it a cute nature name and I call this Nautilus pose. You will need no special tools or props, just a, a nice place from which you could practice. So pause your recording, um, prepare your practice space, and when you're ready, press play and I will guide you through Nautilus Pose. All right, friends, let's get set up for this Nautilus Pose. So make your way onto your back, use good body mechanics during these transitions. Sometimes we're super careful as we're moving, but we get loosey-goosey during the transition. So Note here, I have a bed in the knees, soles of my feet on the earth, lowering myself, hands behind my thighs, lowering down. So option one is gonna start out from a supine figure four. Hook the pinky edge blade of your right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Now, notice the common factor in the two options here will be left hand on your right shin, just below the knee. Guide your right knee any amount closer down towards your left shoulder. The first place I expect you'll notice a uh, sensation is probably gonna feel like the IT band. I'm gonna talk about why that is in a moment. Right? Depending on the state of your body, your mobility in this part of the body, um, or if you're currently experiencing sciatica pain, this may be plenty, right? But for more sensation, for now, release that right shin. Now, eagle legs, hook your right knee over your left, walk your hips over to the right, now, lift both knees up like you were trying to touch yourself in the chin. And remember the common factor, left hand on the right shin, just below the knee, start to guide your right knee down towards your left shoulder. All right, so on this side, we're gonna stay here for about a minute and a half. And anytime you want more sensation, apply more pressure with that left hand drawing your right knee down towards your left shoulder. I'm gonna talk about the structure and the function of the piriformis muscle. And then I'll talk a little bit about sciatica pain and this pose in the context of practice, All right? So the piriformis, it's a pear-shaped muscle that originates in the sacrum and it wraps from the lower back all the way through. It's part of the, it's one of the 22 muscles in the hip complex and it's one of the deep six lateral hip rotators, and it attaches to the greater trochanter at the top of the femur. All right, so remember the first place that you felt sensation probably was close to that um, attachment point at the top of the femur, right? And as a stabilizer muscle, like with every muscle, we want a balance between stability or strength and mobility or movement. But with the stabilizer muscles, we really want them to be more stable than mobile. We don't want them to be loosey-goosey, right? But with the piriformis in particular, it's tricky because the sciatic nerve, this thumb-shaped nerve runs directly under that muscle. For some bodies, the, the, the nerve runs right through the muscle. All right, release your right shin, lower your feet down to the earth, unwind your legs. You stay right where you're at. I'm gonna change size just for demonstration purposes. All right, so we want it to be more stable than mobile, but if it's too stable, it can compress that sciatic nerve. Now hook the pinky edge blade of your left foot on the outside of your right thigh, right hand to your left shin just below the knee, draw your left knee any amount closer down towards your right shoulder. Right, for more sensation, only if you want more sensation. There's nothing wrong with where you are right here. You're doing it, this is it. Eagle legs, wrap left knee over right, walk your hips to the left, lift both knees up as if you were trying to touch yourself in the chin, and then same thing, right hand to your left shin, draw your left knee any amount closer to that right shoulder. 
Now, if you're currently experiencing sciatica pain, I don't know honestly how much relief you're gonna get from this. I'm quite sure it's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna make things worse, but you may need to knock the inflammation down first before you really start to get some relief. But, but if you know you're prone to sciatica pain, and this happens, sciatica happens more often in fit people than unfit people. Um, you know, I think it's a really good prevention. So if you're prone to it, like I used to for years, I shame myself because my home practice didn't look anything like my mat-based practice in the studio. But I finally figured out the home-based practice, your home practice can be completely different. It doesn't have to be on a mat, doesn't have to be with special props. Mine, if I'm honest, most of the time happens in the carpet the living room while I've got YouTube videos on in the background trying to learn something. Right, you could do the same thing with this post, take three minutes out of your day every day. You've got three minutes a day. Or if you wanted to include it in a practice, again, you could include this in a vinyasa practice. Works really well after core work or bridging. Uh, works really well in tandem, either right before or right after a supine twist. Or I teach this as a yin post too, and I have people hold it for three to five minutes. Right. Speaking of which, release your left shin, release the feet down to the earth, unwind your legs, and then you can do anything that you like from here. I'm going to come back to a seat. Now, using good body mechanics here, I'm going to roll off to the side, create some structure, stack the joints, and then lift myself up accordingly. Right. So try this out. Again, if you're currently experiencing sciatica pain, Talk to your medical professional about, a professional about how you knock the inflammation down for now, but then um, maybe consider starting to include this in your practice as a preventative. Great job, friends. Again, I'm Chris. I'm from Transformation Nation Yoga and Wellness. This is a basic instruction in a pure form of stretch that I call Nautilus Pose. You're doing great. Just keep going.